Chet, today would be the day he'd have to start uh, answering questions. And indeed, uh, with respect to the uh, list of uh, drugs used and so forth, and with some continuing discussion about the disease he has, which I'm very sympathetic to, and I hope he continues to be able to uh, deal with that as best he can. Um, okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You'll be on the Let me start again. I'm sorry. So I just thought I was being tapped yes. short. Uh, yeah, yesterday I gave uh, Mayor Ford a pass on answering questions because I think it was fair that it was Canada Day and it was for a day for other things. Uh, and I said today he would have to start uh, answering questions and there were a lot to be answered. And we got some answers today in terms of a, of a longer list of uh, drugs, for example, and then also uh, some discussion of the uh, disease uh, that he has and I'm very sympathetic to his struggle uh, with that. But uh, we still see that on some of the fundamental questions, like uh, what about the criminals that you associated with, he refers that off to somebody else. Uh, or uh, questions to do with, um, you know, his um, uh, keys falling into the hands of somebody while he was in rehab and how that happened. Or, for that matter, to me, almost the most important one, the whole question of why he won't sit down with the police uh, and uh, cooperate with them as the mayor of the city. Uh, you know, to me, uh, I was brought up sort of saying, well, if you have nothing to hide, then of course you should sit down and have a discussion with the police. So to me, what that means is we're sort of right where we started. Uh, and I think if you won't answer questions, and if you can't answer questions, then you can't govern. And that's why I think he should resign. Should somebody with this kind of sickness and addiction be running our city? Should he even be in the race? Well, I mean, there are lots of people who struggle with this um, and who carry on with doing their jobs and are getting treatment and so on. The issue, though, is uh, when you're doing this job, a part of doing this job is answering questions of the public, of the media, of the average citizen. And I, if you can't answer questions and you won't answer questions, then you can't govern. And it's a big reason why I felt for some time and continue to believe he should resign. Do you think he compromised the integrity of the office while in the job? Well, I mean, he, people do struggle with this and it does affect their on-the-job performance. He always insisted it did. How can it not? when he's refusing to, to, to be with the police and answer their questions, when he's consorting with criminals. Um, this is why I said he should resign, and it's why I think he still should resign, because if you can't answer questions and you won't answer questions, you can't govern. You can't do this job if you're not prepared to be accountable. And I think it's as simple as that. Satisfied with what he said about some of the homophobia and racist comments? Satisfied with those answers? Mike, yeah. There has been, as yet, as far as I could hear from the interview that uh, CBC did, there has been no apology specifically to those communities who he abused uh, with his words. I think these things are either in you or they're not, and that they can be, they can't be coaxed out by other people or by alcohol or by drugs if they're not inside you to begin with. And so I, I certainly think, though, of, of a complete and direct apology to the communities he insulted, which are numerous, uh, is called for. And again, if you can't bring yourself to do that, then I'd say you can't govern in this city, this diverse city of all places, and that he should resign. John, how's this guy remain viable in this race against you? Why can't you just squash him out? Well, I mean, I think it's a long way from the election, and at the end of the day, uh, I think he has his followers. But I think as people watch and they see this circus continuing to unfold or not unfold when it comes to not answering questions, when they see what I believe to be uh, his inability to deal with other governments and get anything done by way of results for the people, to deal even with the city council, that they won't even sit down with him now, I think they'll come to the conclusion that this uh, should all come to an end, and it probably should come to an end if he was honorable by his resignation and, uh, and take it from there. His brother just to describe the shirtless jogger as a raving lunatic who's a bad influence on children. No, I saw him at a distance uh, in East York, and, and you know, it's funny, I've been out meeting a lot of citizens in North York this morning, and I can tell you the language used by those people was exactly the same as that man, and they were not on television, and they were not sent by anybody. I went to see them in North York uh, in, in various places where I was meeting people this morning. People say that, you know, they're fed up with this, that they know that he can't do this job if he refuses to be held accountable. Uh, and if he has this record of massively embarrassing the city and of uh, misconducting himself in this way. And so uh, that's just, uh, you know, the refuge of a scoundrel is to blame somebody else and say it's all some kind of a put-up job, and I think that's a preposterous explanation. John, your thoughts on the mayor drinking in his office? We knew it was only that staff believed this was happening. He now admits it was happening. Do you think he's being selfish for running again? I just think that you have a, uh, a standard that you have to set as the mayor of Toronto in a whole bunch of respects. You know, whether you're in a restaurant or in your office uh, or everywhere, you have a standard of behavior. And if you don't like that, you shouldn't be in public life. And so in that sense, I think it's all regrettable. And I think what's most regrettable of all is that he won't apologize to communities he humiliated and insulted uh, with his comments, and that he won't uh, come clean and answer questions. Again, I repeat, if you won't answer questions, if you can't answer questions about things as basic as why you won't meet with the police, you can't govern. You can't do this job effectively. A couple more, guys. Thanks, guys.
Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. John, John Corey. Yes, I have a question. So I can yes, are you a born loser? If every race you've got in, you've lost. That's us. actually not true, but uh, it is so. How many have you won, sir? Hey, many, many. All the best. Happy Canada Day. That's right. okay, son. Get away from me. I beg your pardon.